A quick spot check on petrol stations along Kenyatta Avenue and Digo Road in Mombasa showed that petrol stations started recording high number of vehicles with most opting to fill their tanks to save cost in the event fuel prices went up by midnight. Initially I had filled uh, for 2000 then I got the message that the prices from tonight is going to go up so I decided to fill my car with full tank. Mafuta iko juu sana hata nakuja kujaza kidogo tu hapa ni kubangaiza tu. Kazi hamna. Ndoto elewa sasa hii mambo ya corona kila kitu cha panda. Sasa tunajua kwamba mafuta itakuja kupanda baadaye nini ndo tujaza sasa hii. Drivers say their move was influenced by tough economic times and thus they were doing whatever possible to save and not encounter extra charges. Last time mafuta ilipanda na bei atakuwa tumepandisha. Kwa hivyo wenye magari wanaingia hasara kubwa sana kwa sababu ya kwamba Abiria bado ni wanane na bei ya mafuta imepanda. Sasa hivi tukiambiwa tu kwamba bei inapanda tena kwa mara nyingine. Tuna sisi watu wa chini tunaweza kufanya nini? Mafuta imepanda sana, imeenda lita moja mene 25 na saa hii inaelekea 150 lita moja. Sasa gari watu ni saba, polisi watakakula na mwenye gari ataka pesa mshara hakuna kabisa. Kwa hivyo sisi madreva matatu tunomea sana. Petrol prices in the neighboring Uganda Tanzania and South Sudan are relatively cheap, prompting truck drivers to opt fueling cars in the said countries. A litre of diesel in Kampala is selling at 110 shillings and 71 cents, despite Uganda importing the bulk of its product through Mombasa. For Tanzania, motorists are paying an average of 93 shillings and 63 cents for a litre of petrol as consumers enjoy economies of scale on imports through the port of Dar es Salaam. In southern Sudan, the fuel prices are cheaper where a litre of petrol is 30 shillings lower compared to Kenya which costs 120 shillings per litre. As per the Kenya Transporters Association of Kenya, KTA Chief Executive Dennis Ombo, the cost of fuel in Kenya is unbearable and its members are now shifting to neighboring countries for cheaper costs. This is the name of the food that we have been able to get here and we have been able to get here and we have been able to get here. We have been able to get here in Uganda, Rwanda, Tanzania, and South Sudan, and we have been able to get here. Unakuta bei ya mafuta iko chini lakini mafuta yapitia Mombasa sisi ndio tuko na uh, port mafuta yote ya East Africa yapitia hapa isipokuwa ya Tanzania ya Indi za jirani South Sudan uh, DRC Rwanda uh, Uganda yapita hapa yote so tunasanga ya kwamba kwa nini bei ya mafuta inapanda Kenya in Uganda, for example, Dan Nomoto, a long-distance truck driver who transports goods to Uganda, says the cost of diesel per liter is 10 shillings lower compared to Kenya, where it is retailing at 105 shillings. But even as the Energy and Petroleum Regulatory Authority, IPRA, maintains their last month's prices, calls are still being made for the government to review duty imposed on food products to cushion the common mananchi. The passage of the tax bill in 2018 was met with condemnation that saw its implementation deferred to September 2018, but Parliament eventually slashed the VAT from 16% to 8% following public outcry upon its passage. Fears are however rife that the VAT could be increased to 16% with Treasury under pressure from the International Monetary Fund to double the tax on all petroleum products in an effort to cut the budget deficit and tame public borrowing. Martin Opio, K24 TV.